What's up guys, it's the Rickish from TechTech.com. Mash would be here doing this video, but unfortunately he's tied up on some railroad tracks, so I'll be doing it instead. Now, this is going to teach you how to flash ROMs on your Samsung Galaxy S2, but to do this, you should have rooted it first. If you haven't, you can check out the video tutorial on our website, which will show you how to do it. Okay, so if you've actually rooted it, you can do two things to get your ROMs. Firstly, you can go on the XDA website, which is over here. Then you can search for your phone and then search for ROMs. However, this is quite a long method. Something that will be much easier would be to go on Google and search Samsung Galaxy S2 ROMs and go on the very first link. Okay, so it's the website. Now, what you want to do is search for a ROM that's either version 2.3.5, which is this one, or 2.36. Both these are okay. However, you want to avoid the ice cream sandwich ROMs because they're not stable and can be quite buggy. So, for this tutorial, I'll be downloading this one, 2.36. So, what you want to do is go and download. This will come up. Scroll down. Go on the download link, which is over here. Wait for it. Again, go and download right here. You end up over here. What you want to do is go on free download. Uh, ask for a verification code. Just type that. Two nine one. Click on the link. You want to save it. Okay, so here's the ROM downloading. But since obviously, since you guys don't want to wait four hours, here's the ROM we've already downloaded. Now, the important thing here is we renamed it to A underscore ROM. This is because when you go into clockwork recovery mode, if you, for example, um, named your ROM starting with, starting with Z, then you'll have to scroll all the way down to look for it, but if you call it A ROM, it'll be in alphabetical order, so it'll be right at the top, nice and easy to locate. Okay, so we've got a ROM downloaded. Now what we need to do is connect our phone to our computer. It's connected, you just go down, you find USB connected, and you connect, but of course this might be different for some users. This is how it is for us. Okay, now you want to go into my computer, open up your phone memory, and paste the ROM right into your phone memory. It's important to put it into here and not into your memory card. Uh, I won't tell you the reasons why because it takes quite a long time to explain it, but if, you want, if you're curious why, just go into a website and it'll give you some information. Now just wait for it to paste. Okay, the file has now been transferred to internal memory, so what you need to do now is disconnect the USB. And then turn it off. Power off. Okay, the phone's now turned off. What we need to do is go into recovery mode. To do this, you first hold the up home button the up volume button, home button, and then power button. So let's do that now. Give it a while. Okay, so now it's safe to let go. Okay, you want to go down into install zip from SD card. Okay. Then go down into choose zip from internal SD card because that's where the ROM is. Then as you can see because we named it A ROM, it's right at the top. Just press OK. And you want to install it. Go down to yes. <laughs> and just wait for it to install.
can see the ROM has been installed. Now what I need to do is keep going back. And go into reboot system. As you can see, the ROM's been successfully installed. Of course, if your ROM came with one, more than one file, such as this one, just follow the same procedure again and install it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Also, like us on Facebook, Twitter, Google, and 